What are you doing? It's a novelist's habit, poking through other people's mail, checking their medicine cabinets. Why are you still here? I just came by to give you this. It's a little something to memorialize our brief partnership. Don't look so suspicious. Go on, open it. I got you an advance copy. I even signed it to you. Not that you're a fan. Thanks. That's actually kind of sweet. Well. Well. It was nice to have met you, Detective Beckett. Coonan's about to walk. I missed something. Could have been me. Rathborn could have checked the routing number, realized the money was coming from my account, not Dick's. I was arrogant. I don't think you're arrogant, Castle. I thought what you did was sweet. And I will pay you back. Negative, in... Ghost Rider. Small price to pay for a shot at your mother's killer. It was the opportunity of a lifetime chance to originate the role of the Wicked Witch on Broadway. But it would mean being away from home six nights a week, two matinees. Ha! <laughs> what was I to do? I realized that none of it ever happened. Francis Bacon once wrote, He that hath children hath given hostages to fortune. Well, if I was a hostage, then my son Richard was my captor, my enslaver. Hey, I'm right here. I turned down the roll, turned my back on fortune, and it was the best career move I ever made, for an even greater role came my way, a part, perhaps the greatest role that I have ever played, that of mother. That's sweet. You're right, that is sweet. Shh. You just found a stack of air bills at Jason's place. So then the killer used one of them to send the disc to Val. Maybe we should make a copy of the DVD and send it to someone else. That's how they saved people in the ring. Yeah, but all those people who got a copy died. Yeah, and you'd just be passing a buck off to someone else. That's called bro. Okay, does anyone have a better solution? Because we need one. If not for me, at least for Beckett. Castle, yes, that's so sweet. You want me to outlive you? Of course. Hey, Castle. Hey. Where's Josh? Oh, he's in Africa. He's saving the world. Uh, I brought you some... I just thought after everything that you might want to... Here. Thank you. That's really sweet. You want to come in? Sure. Yeah, speaking of mentor, I heard that you guys were pretty hard on Conrad last night. Hard on him? No, no, it was just a little friendly hazing. To hear him describe it, it sounds like someone was trying to teach him a lesson. What? Why would I want to do that? Because you didn't want him to spend time with me? That is completely... True? Yes, fine. It's true. I'm jealous. There. I said it. I want you all to myself, and to have you spending time with another writer, that upsets me, and it, if that makes me petty, so be it, guilty as charged. Actually, I kind of think it's sweet. You do? I do. And that's why you don't have to worry about me hanging around with Conrad anymore. From now on, I'm a one writer girl. <laughs> 